my friends are since. It's a Saturday. I have already been to the gym. Don't ask me why, but I got up at half seven, which is earlier than I would ever like to get up in my life. But I got up and I went to the gym and then we had hog wild band practice. And now I'm at home, I've taken my new guitar to go get fixed and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I feel like I should do some music. So I wanted to play guitar, since I'm inspired by buying a new guitar yesterday. Uh, unfortunately I can't play the new guitar because it's the way being set up. But I still want to do something guitar related. And I can't be bothered like writing out drums or anything. So I thought what I would do is use the um, stuff that I put together on the OPZ. And another video uh, where I was demonstrating the multi-track stem exports. There'll be a link there somewhere. But that's what I'm going to do. So I've got the song here, uh, which hopefully, hopefully, you'll be able to see it. And uh, I've kind of cut up the different loops and stuff into some kind of song structure. <coughs> which, uh, you know, I think that sounds pretty good. And what I'm going to go do is uh, connect up my guitar. Um, and I'm gonna play it through some weird pedals and then, I don't know, see if I can do anything. I'd like to do some vocals on it, but I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to do that today. But, we'll see. But I'm feeling a bit lazy at the moment. That's why I'm using this action camera and also procrastinating on going through to the actual studio. You can see my dog is also procrastinating. Hello. I finally dragged my sorry ass into the actual studio and I'm going to start recording something. Uh, what I'm going to do is I want to use a guitar pedal called the Purple, which is a, a phase locked loop pedal from Montreal Assembly. They're the same people that make the infamous Count to Five and I might play about with that as well. But first of all, I need to decide what guitar I'm going to be using. And if I take you over here, excuse the mess, I have been spray painting actually. I found this box on the street the other day, which um, never usually happens to me, but it seemed like a great box for, uh, you know, putting synths and stuff on. So I spray painted it a nice blue colour, but I don't know where to put it. Everything's a bit of a mess, so. The plan is to do something with it. Anyway, I need to decide on what guitar to use. I'll pro oh fuck, I'm gonna have to string them up. Shit, should have thought about this. Uh, I guess I'll use my trusty Fender Telecaster, which is a wee bit dusty, but this is one that was given to me when I was first learning to play guitar by a family friend. Uh, he was teaching me how to play guitar and he very kindly gave me it. It's a Japanese genuine Fender Telecaster. Uh, which is pretty cool, really. So this is probably what I'll use today. At this point I'm essentially just recording a whole pile of random shit because that's what I tend to do. Throw enough shit at the wall and hope some of it sticks. So I'm recording a whole pile of different bits and pieces on guitar using the purple pedal. And then later on I, I'm going to do some stuff with the Count 5 maybe? And then, I don't know, some synths I guess, since this is a synth channel, maybe. <laughs> This track needs Ebo. 
Of course, for the Ebo, I'll have to get some distortion or fuzz or something. So I've got this American sound pedal. Very fancy. Ah. Ah. Fuck. Ebo. 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 <laughs> So I've recorded some stuff and um, at this point I'm beginning to feel like a fraud actually because you know all I'm doing really is recording a whole bunch of random stuff and putting it together I'm not really it doesn't feel like a song you know what I mean and I know music doesn't need to feel like a song but I don't know it's not even something I could play back I guess this might be partly because I've been spending a lot of time um, playing in the band and stuff where you actually play songs and it can feel different doing it this way Hmm, I shouldn't have an existential crisis about making music. I'm gonna chop up some of the stuff that's in there and then add some effects, maybe outboard effects. I don't know, I might do some vocals later. I might use the pulsar, which I've got sitting here. Thanks to Signal Sounds for sending me the pulsar to try out. I might do that to spice up the, the rhythm. And I guess we'll see where we go from there. But I'm done with guitar for now. Um, it's probably for the best, because I'm not I'm not fucking Joe Satriani or anything like that. Another musical masterpiece. Now that I've slathered everything in effects, I've actually come to realise that this wasn't a waste of time and I'm not an imposter because actually I'm a genius. This is a brilliant piece of music and um, I guess it just takes time sometimes to realise these things. Now I do want to add some vocals onto this, however I am falling asleep because I was up too early. I'm not used to waking up before 11am so I'm going to have to go have a disco nap before I do that. Bending, stretching, everything, you know, suppose, you know, I mean, you, you just keep it moving. Bending, stretching, bending, stretch, stretching. <laughs> So after fucking about with this for a while, I've decided that I didn't actually want to do vocals myself. And so I used some cut up samples that I had run through my Akai S2000, which has been circuit bent. And they are some Bruce Lee samples that I just had lying around. Uh, they are on Patreon if you want to go download them, along with the stems to this song and everything else that I do. However, uh, with that, I think I'm bored of this track now, so I'm just going to finish it and bounce it down and then do some kind of video. So now you can hear what I've done and the kind of thing that I do in a couple of hours.